welcome to today's workout. Today we're going to be using a stability ball. My name is Beth. Also along with me today is Chris. Uh, Chris will be demonstrating some modifications and or variations that you can do with the stability ball. Probably one of the more common uh, pieces of equipment that you may have uh, laying around your home. Um, if not, uh, again, Chris will also be showing some uh, modifications with all the ball. So, make sure you have that ball, make sure you have some water, and a uh, space that you can safely move around it. And here we go. Today's workout again is with the uh, stability ball. So, when you're ready, let's start. You always want to start with a, uh, some sort of a warm-up, getting everything moving. Here we go. March it up. All right, lift those knees, shoulders back and down. Good. Add the arms. That's it. Find some good music if you want. Play it while you're doing this. Or join with us. Heels in front. Pull. Good. All right, back to marching. March. A little wider. Back in the middle. Do it again, a little wider, mark, good, back in the middle, knees up, heels in front again, opposite hand, opposite foot, good, all right, scoop it up, scoop, back to march and right, march it out, pull those knees up, four, three, Step touch to the right. Oh. You can add the arms. What up? Incorporate that total body as you warm up. Four more. Four. Three. Back to marching. March it out. Good. Four. Three. Single knee lifts. Lift. Oh. That's it. Nice, easy front kick. Warming up the hamstrings. Pull those arms back. Good. Eight more. Eight, seven, four, three. March up, march it out. Right those feet down. Back in the middle. Once more, wide out. Back in the middle. Again, step touch, oh. four more, four, three, left straight line, oh. again, good, add that hamstring curl, oh. pull, do it again, four more, four, three, last two, where you start, let's pull. Come on, pull it out. Four, three, knees up, pull. Good. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Oh, yeah. I'd rather have the rock and the bone, yeah, than the COVID 19. <laughs> four, four, three. Feet planted, let's swat. Down and up. Sit back. Weight in the heels. Toes can wiggle if you like. Down and up. One more. Down. Singles. Top half. Eight. Seven. Six. Good. Four more. Sit back. Two more. All right, the ball and pulse for three. Bring it up, bring it in, pulse. Two more, sit back, one more time. Back to the march and right, last part. Hopefully you're starting to warm up. Back to step touch, open, add the upper of our body. All right, back to grapevine, or two big steps. 
that your feet are not on it when you're in this position. It's slippery, the ball can come out from underneath you. Chris is demonstrating without the ball. So hands on the floor, they extend that right leg out. Foot is flexed, knee is in line, or knees are in line. We're gonna lower left, down, up. We're gonna do a couple different versions in this position, long contracted abdominals. We're gonna bring your core is working, we're out. Nine, 10, 11, pull it up and pulse. 12, eight, seven, six, one more variation. Four, three, two, tip that toe out, lift, lower, lift, lower, up, inner thigh. Mm. This one's always kind of sneaky. Kind of comes up on ya. Two more. All right, hold it up, pulse. Last ball, 12, 11, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, if you need to roll it back, stretch it out, go ahead. All right, make sure you're drinking lots of water as we are in our stay-at-home period of this uh, coronavirus outbreak. Here we go, flex foot, extend out. Knee to knee. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. So coming up to knee height. Down and up. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. All right, last one. Pull it up and pulse. Last eight, eight, seven, six, four, three, tip that toe out, down, and up. Eight more, eight, seven, again, change of the tempo, one more, four, coming up right here, two more, tempo change, hold it up. Pulse for 12, 12, 8, last 4, 2, and 1, good. Very carefully roll yourself back up to a seat position, and then one last move for the uh, lower body before we take a quick water break, and I'm going to go to upper body. So, grab that ball. Holding nice and tight, squeezing a little extra gains and some secondary work in the shoulders. Squeeze that ball. All right, here we go. We're gonna squat and press. Down, push. Make sure to sit back. Good, reach, reach. Squeeze those palms in, pushing toward each other, 
and then hold here. As you're doing that, contract the uh, glutes, squeeze, uh, contract the abdominals. Everything's working together on this one. All right, here we go, in and out. Again, total of 12. Squeeze, you can extend a little further, squeeze. Middle delts, primarily a little front and rear end. Nine, 10, 11, hold and squeeze. 12, 11, 10, nine. We're gonna add one more shoulder move to this. A front raise, four, three, two. Lower left, down, shoulder height. Squeeze that ball, keep the hold. Eight, four. Down, and up. Last four, four, three, two, and one. Good, all right. Starting to get a little burn in the shoulders. The next exercise, maybe one of my favorites with the upper body in the ball. How about you? Push-ups. <laughs> Just hold. Push. 
push forward. Isometric, uh, a little bit of a pulse here. I guess I'm gonna necessarily call this isometric. Little pulse. And then last part, turn those hands back from the back of the room. Pulse. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of burn. Again, as you're doing this, contract and tighten your abdominal wall, the lower back, back area. And yeah, good. All right, roll those shoulders. And then the last of our five over body moves, we're gonna switch back over to uh, laying on top of the ball. These are shoulder flies. Again, I picked a little bit more shoulder work today. So laying over the ball, nice wide base with the feet, arms are out, working the rear delts up and also working the back. Lots of things going on. Squeeze the glutes. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Three. One more. Pull it up and pulse. Twelve. Eleven. Keep that head in line with the neck and spine. Three, two, and one. Good. All right, very carefully bring yourself back up. Let's bring that arm across. We did a lot of shoulder work. Don't forget to do uh, the little parts of the body, like the wrists, especially if you're working on electronics a lot. Keep those wrists moving. Also, the uh, ability to give yourself a great big hug. All right especially with social distancing. All right, grab a quick drink, about 30 seconds to a minute, recovery and we're into our last block here for this first round. Go ahead, grab a drink. Yeah. So the final third block is all four. Block one was lower body, block two was upper body, and now block three. Is for core. All right, so move number one, my favorite of all stability. Well, I say that of every exercise, but this exercise it is my favorite. It is a roll up on your forearms. So forearms here, you're gonna roll up, and then ready to scoops down, and then pulling up with your core wall. So make sure to try to pull up with the core versus your back. Your abdominals versus the back, I should say. And pull. Chris is doing the modification. And pull. Kind of targeting the upper part of the abdominal wall underneath that rib cage. One of the fewer exercises that targets that upper area. Four more. Remember when you're working your core, you can slow it down. Don't go super fast. You will get the most out of each exercise. Eight, eight, seven, six, 
four, three, two, and one. Carefully bring it up. Extend that ball out long. A little life to recover here. Lengthen the legs up. Pull those hips up into a reverse bridge. You can take the hands underneath, interlocking those fingers. Open up the shoulders. Squeeze the glutes. Back into 90, hands again, palms down. This time, instead of rolling in and out, we're going to lift up and down. Now, there are modifications on this one. We'll start with the traditional uh, hip raise, glute raise, lift it up and down. So, following that rollout, you'll feel the burn with this one. Lift. You can also do one leg at a time. Lift. Four, three, two, and one. All right, carefully switch. Stay with both feet. Uh, here we go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Last eight. Eight. Again, the modification is both feet on top of the ball. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Next move is the ball pass. Extend those legs out. Starting with the ball in my feet. Passing from hands to feet. Lift me out. Make sure to watch the small part of your back. If you have back trouble. Modify your range of motion. Break for the abdominal wall. Again, make sure you're breathing as you do this. Last one. Come back down. Good. All right, let's step all down. Next exercise, we're going to come up on top of the ball again, focusing on our back. So remember, there are many parts to your core, including the back. So this is considered the bird dog, stability balance. So coming on, coming up to your hands, you can extend your feet behind you. Let's first lift with the right, and then lift the left. So just a couple of practice uh, repetitions before we start with this. Now this time, if you would like, play with the right. Also lift with the left leg. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Lift and lower. Two more. Again, just practice reps here. I'm going to choose to stay on the same side, doing 12 reps. Right arm, left leg, here we go. One. One. Make sure you're in. Good deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Last eight. Lift. Three, plus two, and one. All right, bring it back, sit back if you'd like. Otherwise, the other side, left arm, right leg. Well, pull up. Four more, or eight more, sorry. On these, go at your own pace. You do not have to go fast. Slow, steady, even pace. Last four. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Sit back, go back into that modified child's pose. 
And then we have one final exercise of this 15 different exercises, lower, upper, and lower core. All right, coming back up to a seated position on the ball. Make sure your feet are off a mat if you are working on a mat so that they don't slip out. All right, we're going to roll yourself in. Now, you can cross your hands at your shoulders. You can extend your arms up. What I want you to do is very slowly, using the ball, roll up and contract tight your abdominals, squeeze the glutes, go slow. Arms will be one on top of the other. Again, take away momentum, make your core do the work. As you exhale, coming up out of this a little bit, you get better contraction of that muscle group. Stretch uh, somewhere between 30 to 60 seconds. All right, really. Take the left hand behind, follow by the right, open up and squeeze. Thank you. 
Play one of those hands on your shins to your knees. Arching up the back, one vertebrae at a time. Hands come heart center. Inhale. Yeah. Grab that inside arm. Let's stretch. Lean to one side. Again, if you want to incorporate some sort of weight into these exercises, you're more than welcome to. But, let's go to the other side. Grabbing that inside wrist. Don't forget to do body weight exercises. Let's grab that right ankle, right shoe. You can also extend that out as an arm for balance work or focus on stretching that quad. Stretching the hip flexor. Focus on something that's not moving. Thank you. Any questions, any comments?